beginning phase, what you're trying to do is you're trying to combine the algorithm optimization and, and leveraging the power of the algorithm. <laughs> A campaign. It kind of depends on your budget. There's no perfect number. Now, if you're using CBO, we usually try to limit it to like around four, you know, three, four, five, six ad sets because Facebook's the one that's divvying up the budget. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, the same, it's the same thing. You're, you're, let's say you're starting out and you got your, you got your campaign. And then you've got ad set. And then your ad set, let's say it's four ads. And you've got ad set one. Like this. So your ad set one has is it one percent. Now these are you know look alike. All customers. Okay, ad set two. One percent look alike. Say LA percent look alike. All <clears throat> all contacts. Now let's say that you start out with uh, four ads. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to create that one ad set and you're going to, you're going to submit it, right? One ad set with four ads and you're, you can submit it. So then when you want to create ad set number two here, then all you have to do is duplicate this entire thing. Yeah. And they all move over. So that's what you're going to do. Um, so you're, you're duplicating that. And then all you have to do is just change the audience, right? Right. Um, and so now it's 1% look like all contacts and then for the same four ads. Um, let's say ad set three is 1% look like all website visitors. And you can do like, once you start using the Facebook analytics and stuff, um, once you start running Facebook traffic, you, you can start creating lookalikes based off people who visit your website two or three, two times or more. Uh -huh. okay. It's not going to backdate, so you won't be able to do that yet. But once you start running ads, you can create some pretty ninja lookalikes. It's pretty sweet. Okay. Time on site, people that come in twice, so they're not customers yet, but they've obviously showed interest. So for right now, we're just going to do all website visitors as far back as possible. Okay. okay. Now that's enough for, for uh, I would say, for your lookalikes. Now okay. ad set, um, you know, four, let's say four through eight. So you got maybe five more, you know, maybe even two or three more. It's kind of not big. So, so you got, um, so see, you, you've got uh, interests. Now these are going to be interests, interests, groupings. So you try to keep them, you know, fairly, uh, niched. Okay, so what you're gonna do here is is uh, let's go to my detailed targeting. You have to go here now and detailed. No, not we're gonna keep detailed targeting expansion. So to, to do de to do interest targeting now on Facebook, you have to go here and click edit. Right. Otherwise, it doesn't. This used to just show up, and now you have to click edit. I remember the first time I was doing it on one of these calls, I couldn't. Even, I kept. I went like this like four times. Where the hell is interests? <laughs> um, <laughs> because they, it's like harder to find now, which is kind of weird, but. Um, so, and then what you're also going to do is where it says detailed targeting expansion. See how that's yeah. checked. We don't want that checked Yeah. until you start to feel confident with something working well down the road. Then you can start to test that a little bit where it goes more okay. broad. It goes super broad as you'll see here. So let's say that, give me an interest that somebody would might be interested in. Um, um uh, say, say detox or sauna. Okay. How is there no result? Okay, there we go. So detox. And then I'm going to hit suggestions and see to make sure it's the right, like, you know, sometimes there'll be synonyms or something like that. So you got what I would try to do if I'm going to do a detox interest, I want to do th things that are similar to detox, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm probably not going to do health and wellness, even though it shows up as suggested. It's, 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 I might, I think health and wellness could be an audience for you that would work down the road. For mm -hmm. sure. Some of these big, broad ones work amazing for your type of product. Um, but for this detox audience, uh, we want stuff that's more related to, to as many, like there, there might be six or seven interests that we all put in here that are all related to yeah. detox, right? Mm -hmm. um, like this right here. But I'm guessing this would be good. Maybe. Detox. Somebody's going to buy a detox foot pad. Mm -hmm. Or is that something super specific just to one specific ailment? uh again you know no it, it, it's just that people use that for general uh, for general body detox for sure so you could put that and then um i'm surprised there's not uh like cleanses and stuff like this maybe yeah it's a small audience 
cleanser and we don't want that master cleanse this there should be way more on the cleanse um uh it's weird it may be sauna just uh you know far even far infrared sauna or saunering so i would do um yep okay go. so maybe you have a detox audience here and and then you, you maybe you find a few more and that's an audience right okay yeah so um out of the gate long term you might find that detox and sauna together are going to be are going to be better you know um mm -hmm. but let's just say one of them is uh detox uh and then number two is sauna infrared right yeah because i have a feeling they're pretty so if we go to infrared we're gonna go put sauna again see what happens so nine hundred thirty thousand, not super big so i could see you actually combining detox and sauna because detox is, is a million um that mm -hmm. that, that general detox audience wasn't as big as i thought it would be see this it's only um, what about what about biohacking i mean is that uh yeah all that stuff is like these are all great audience for you honestly yeah. um it's so and you're going to find probably um you know the biohacking and all 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 those uh uh bulletproof coffee and stuff like that you know yeah biohacking dave asprey uh, dr mccola that kind of stuff yeah but but you you should be what we want to do ideally is if you have a group of interests you know you want to try to get it it's just us right now that i have here but you're you're going to be in how many countries probably are you are you going to target well i was going to I, I was thinking you know uh well, again, this is a question with with a with a smallish budget to begin. How wide do you go? You know, at, with it being effective, am I better off sticking to say UK and USA, or just starting UK to begin? You know, if I'm starting off small to to build some momentum, what's what's the best idea? Do I go for a much larger audience with a smaller budget? How does it work? So, ideally, when you're first starting out here. Two to five million or so is going to be an okay sweet spot when you're you're in your stages here. But eventually, okay. I'm guessing, you, you know, don't be afraid to do some ten million audiences out of the gate too, because okay. probably those are going to be the ones that perform better for you, anyways, in general. But okay. you're kind of in the beginning phase too, so you kind of want to see how some of these do, sort of on their own, right? Yeah. Um, you're kind of trying in the beginning phase. What you're trying to do is you're trying to uh, combine the algorithm optimization and, and leveraging the power of the algorithm and in order to do that you want to have fairly large audiences as long as you are generating a lot of conversions and or whatever it is that you're optimizing on if you're optimizing on video views it's very easy for the algorithm to optimize quickly and, and go find um, the best types of people within that audience because you're generating hundreds of video views per day something that so so what i would do is you know if you've got this pretty much ready to go you you could start with some small budget stuff get some goodwill start to see what happens start to learn from your audience uh audiences and your ads and then but ideally you're gonna be the most successful or most profitable i think if you can get either a video where you're going through all this or or a webinar uh and you know like using every webinar to, to show them how they can use infrared to boost immunity, decrease anxiety, do everything that, that people need right now. So you're, yeah, man. Yeah, you, I just, you have a, a good product for what, what's happening right now in the world too. So, which you you know as, more, as much as anybody. Uh, so, I, but I think the good, the thing about ads with Facebook ads is that you, a lot of times when you have a, a sequence that takes a lot, takes a few days for people to go through, it can really uh, reduce your performance and reduce your return on ad spend. So the mm -hmm. shorter, the more we can compact that sales process in the better. Does that makes yeah. sense. So yeah. like if you have a webinar, let's say that you did a video or, or a webinar and you got that done next week, you, you start, I would start with the webinar. So let's go back to this um here so let's say that
Let me turn to the right. There we go. So let's say you today you've got ads to free video series because that's pretty much ready. Um, next week. The cool thing is, is you can probably potentially just use the same ads. If you're, if you're careful in your languaging, you know, you can use the same ads if they're working well and just change the uh, URL and click funnels. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've done that yeah. where you don't even have to unpause or start new ads again, because essentially you're, they're getting the same, uh, you're giving them the same thing. You're just doing a different format. Like I've used, I've, I made the same video ad for whether they're going to go uh, check out our challenge or they're going to opt in for a free video. So very good. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say next week you have a webinar. Uh, so now you have a webinar and that's going to be your ads. Now are going to go here instead. Okay. Uh, yeah. But you know, what you can do is like, let's say after your deadline. So let's say that, uh, they didn't buy after the four day deadline or whatever. So now they can go to your free video series. So you can kind of, you know, you have more content you can give them. Um, obviously if you're doing a live webinar and you're using that video series as warm up content, then you wouldn't do that. But I'm just saying that you're, you're not wasting the work you're doing because you can always use that as great content to bring people back to that don't convert. But what we want is we want this webinar or video, series video not series but video sales letter essentially you know a video presentation to really educate and convert and all in that one session that's the goal because we've got to be able to try to make those those sales within that 24-hour period as many as possible knowing and understanding and realizing that most people aren't going to buy the first time and that's where having a follow-up sequence and the deadline for that discount that they're going to get comes in. And then, and then obviously having some other stuff going, but overall uh, and overall, as you do this, the more your brand builds and become, get people become more aware of it, that will help as well to be a snowball effect of bringing more warm traffic in and stuff too. Yeah. So, um, so back speaking of that on these ad sets, you know, you're also going to have an ad set that's warm. So one of those ad sets, is going to be probably going to have two warm ad sets just starting out. Okay. So number yeah. one is fans and that's just going to be an ad set. So number two is just going to be all your custom audiences that you have. Such a, so horrible at writing. Um, so number two is going to be all custom audiences. So that's going to be website visitors. I mean, probably customers, right? Because a lot of your customers don't have maybe other products. So yeah, uh, you're, you're, I'll just put your list, customers. And I would combine all these into one audience. Customers, okay. video viewers, whatever you have. But the reason why fans is separate, I'll show you why. Just fans notice. is what? Facebook followers, Instagram followers, that kind of thing? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So if I go here, let's say I, I do uh, infrared sauna here. Come on. So we're at infrared. Oh, I can't see anything here. Okay, so it's 880,000 people, right? Now, if I say, hey, I, I also want to target fans, then let's, we're going to go to connection targeting. And we're going to, so let's say that I have, or even if I had a lookalike audience in there, same thing. Um, if, if we go down here and then we, we want to have, uh, connection targeting. See, now this is all hidden. Yeah. You have to go to edit. And let's just say people who like your page. So we'll do the dominate web media. So it just took that audience down to a thousand, right? Because, because it's a separate section within the ads manager, 
if yeah. they if they like your page that they also have to be in this audience and so the same thing happens if you try to do a, a look like an audience you know a custom audience and an interest or a custom audience and a fan so basically your fans are going to be separate they have, otherwise it's, okay. there's too much overlay so then your other one is going to be just pick all your custom audiences that you that you, that you can and that's it so that the, the warm audience is pretty easy so i usually kind of like these are you know um one two and then like this is that really ad set three and four and beyond you know but um but but uh to keep it simple these are your you know cold audiences up there and these are your warm audiences here so you got your uh warm audiences here and then your cold audiences up here so yeah um okay now that i mean i think that's really it now it's just telling the story and you you, you can um it's it's following if you're going yeah go through the challenge and, and especially those first 10 days and and try to you know make people because you got you're making people aware of a of an opportunity they they don't know exists. So so you you, you want to do that in your in your ad copy, and then uh, start getting conversions. Makes sense. Thanks.